So I've got a bit of a beast here. So I thought this would be a very good one to show you in case you've got one that is as large and it can be a little bit intimidating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm do you can see where the clumps are sitting together. I'm just gonna give them a push to see whether or not they are going to um, give naturally. And you can usually see by pressing them gently, the point where they're tethered. There we go. Now you will end up with the odd casualty. It's very difficult to get a knife down that far. So we're very lucky that that's broken off. We've got a couple of casualties, so I'm gonna throw that away because that's not gonna to come to anything. And uh, this piece here is not gonna to come to anything. I've got a large piece here, which has got lots of lovely eyes on it. It's a huge tuber with loads of eyes. So this will be a really good dahlia for somebody. So now I'm stuck, so I've wedged, I've got a very thin chisel, and I've basically gone straight through the old stalk. So I know that's dead material, so that's safe. I'm going through the old stalks, and what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to sever the connection which is right in the heart of the dahlia. And we can just literally take it apart. I need to tidy all these pieces up, but the time being I'm just going to lay them out in the sunshine just to dry off a little bit. The, um, the cuts will just callus over and they won't cause dahlia any uh, problems. What I will say is make sure you use disinfectant on your tools. Up here, a disinfectant on my table. I tend to use um, jays or bleach, but you can use whatever you prefer. Sometimes there's eyes in underneath. Nicely broken down into clumps now. So it's a lot more manageable and less intimidating. And I've got this piece here and I can see I can turn that into one tuber, two tuber, and if we turn it round, three tubers. Not all stems come from the top. Can you see it? Pop that on the floor. So that was, that was in there underneath. If you really can't see anything, what you could do is just leave your tubers to get a little bit of light for a couple of days. You can just sit them out in the sunshine just for a day and then the tuber will start to wake up and it makes it an awful lot easier to see where the little nodes are. Got another beast here. So I've gone straight through the old stalk and you can see that it's completely old down there. No damage at all. And I've just been manipulating the fingers because this one belongs to this one over here. If you find that they're a bit too um, difficult to manipulate, just leave them to dry out for a couple of days and the, the fingers shrink a little bit and then it makes it easier um, to manipulate them out. You don't want to cut them off. And then I should just be able to tease these two sections apart. Now, if you've ever had problems with your cafes after a couple of years, you're not on your own. The tubers seem to deteriorate over time and then you'll get lots of buds but they never really produce anything. You never get to this stage here where you can see they're going to open out into the most beautiful flowers. So what we're going to do is we're going to strike some cuttings. Would you look at that? Incredible.